Hey everyone, I'm going to do another update. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a filter sock if you're using a plexiglass lid like I am. I'm going to cut the actual hole out for the inside diameter of this filter sock here. As you notice, there's a lip on it. See the difference in the lip? That's three sixteenths of a difference. So when you're doing this, you got to remember, cut the hole three sixteenths of an inch smaller than the upper lip of the filter sock itself. All right. So with that, I'm going to freehand cut this thing. I'll be using my uh, Mastercraft Maximum. It's a roto zip made in Canada. I'm going to remove this head real quick. Let me just do that real fast. And I'll swap it out with a plastic cutting tip. Alright. And as much as I like the bulkhead idea in there, you know, it just helped stop as a splash and whatnot. You know, I figured, all right, why not? So hopefully my hose and everything is right. So here's a plastic cutting tip. It's a roto zip type tip. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start cutting. And I'll show you how fast this thing will be done, basically. I won't have to go out and buy no PVC or nothing. And I've already got the plexiglass, so save some bucks. All right, it might get a little bit noisy, but here it goes. camera and yeah, we're right there All right. hopefully if everything was right just pop right in what do you think was that fast enough for you let me move my camera out of the way a little bit so I can show you the results. There you go. Perfect fit. Hops in and out just like it should. And that's all there was to it. Pretty simple, right? Alright, so there you go. And with that, I'm going to put it on the sump, get it hooked up, and then I'll make a short video showing you the filter sock working. Alright. Save some money. Didn't need to go out and buy no PVC fittings. And there you have it. Alright, thanks for watching.